ex-boyfriend just walked in, nobody look. Where? I said don't look! <sighs> He's the cute one over there, okay? I had a crunch on him, but he fell too in love with me. Then he became obsessive compulsive. I said, don't look, I'll kill you. I was peeking. Oh my God, he's walking over here. Benjamin, but then we're dating. No, there's no way, no yeah. way. Oh, and then for my birthday, Benjamin gave me a, a bubble bath with a lot of candles and aromatherapy. <laughs> Benjamin, what is going to my earlobe? Have you heard? I quit. <gasps> you tease! We can't do that here. Aren't <laughs> I so lucky going on such a honk? So lucky. Huh? Oh, wait, no, that's not him. Yeah, she mentioned him. She mentioned him? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did she say? Well, I don't remember it exactly. Um, oh, I forgot to take my ginkgo blah, blah, blah. What did she say? Something about, like, how f fantastic he is and inspiring because, like, he helped all these people and everything. But, you know, I do remember that she was very excited not to work here on Wednesdays. Benjamin. What? You're staring at me. I'm not staring at you. Do I look fat? No, you don't. Would I look better like this? I didn't start. No. Are you sure? Yes. Try that though? No, you should look through some of these too. You know. Felicity would look pretty okay in something no, like no, this, no, don't no, you no. think? No, I've given up on that. Oh no, Benjamin, you can't give up on diamonds. No, no, not on diamonds, on Felicity. Look, I'm just, I'm sick of it. I, I, I'm sick of making a fool of myself, and I, I'm sick of having her turn me down. No, Benjamin, open up your squinty little eyes that are so cute. No. She turned you down because she is it's out of fear, you know? It's, she loves you. Uh, excuse me, sweetheart. Hello. Hi. Look, I, I know it's your job to be very cool and aloof, you know, but you don't have to play Mr. Unyielding with me. We just want to go inside, please. OK, look. I don't have time for this. I got but something very important to do. I am not giving up just by virtue of him. If you're a guy, you have to have a date to get in. Tuesday is our fifth month anniversary. Okay, I'll give you and any friend you can find to help double what you get now. You're gonna pay me double? In cash, over the table. It's under the table. Okay, that too. All right, I'll do it. And, and I'll ask my roommates because they're staying in town too. Do you know why I like you? No, why? No, I'm asking. <laughs> Benjamin, yeah. every day you come into work and I, I see you, I watch you, and I think that poor guy, look at that poor guy, just look at him. No, over here, you. I mean, you have everything to live for and, and you are crumbling. I can see it. You think I'm, I'm crumbling? Benjamin, I, I never told you this about me, but I dated a girl once when I was 15 years old. Her name was Lola. She was a showgirl. No, she wasn't. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, you got that, okay. She wasn't a showgirl, but her name was Lola, actually. And she was, oh, man, she was fantastic, you know? I always, I always knew, you know, that I was attracted to men, you know? Always. Even when I was little, before I got glasses, you know? But I wasn't, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't dating anyone at the time, you know? And then Lola, she wanted me so bad, and she would say things like, Javier, right here, right now, you know? And we were in church, and she would say this to me. What are you? What are you telling me? Okay, I'll I'll skip the big, you know, tearjerker ending. But I just wanted you to understand that I'm I've been exactly where you are right now, left asunder by a woman, and you can't keep moping around, you know, and then sabotaging dates. You have to get over it. It's never gonna work out with her. You don't think it could work? No, it, it's impossible. Why is it impossible? Because she's married, Ben. What? Maggie is a married woman, okay? So grow up, get over it, and snap into it. You think I'm all asunder because of Maggie? 
poor thing you in denial? Javier, it's not Maggie. It's not Maggie. Uh, who is it? It's nobody. I just gotta get over it, you're right. But uh, I, I, I do have to go, I have a class to go to. So thank you very much for the, for the drink and the talk. You're welcome. So what, do you think Samuel will marry me? Oh, this morning, well, yeah. <laughs> Benjamin, that's the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.